Azerbaijan demands from Armenia the return of all eight invaded Azerbaijani villages. Armenia must liberate all eight Azerbaijani villages remaining under its occupation. This was reported by the service of the Deputy Prime Minister of the Government of Azerbaijan, Shahin Mustafayev, commenting on allegations in Armenia about the occupation of the territory of 31 villages in this country by the Azerbaijani side. The Deputy Prime Minister's office called these reports of Armenia unreliable. In this regard, the Azerbaijani side considers it necessary to note that before the delimitation of the state border is carried out, it is completely groundless to declare that the lands belonging to 31 villages of Armenia are occupied. As for the four non-exclave Azerbaijani villages, Baganis, Ayrim, Ashagi, Askipara, Kerimli and Gizilgadzili, occupied by Armenia, their belonging to Azerbaijan is indisputable and they are subject to immediate release. As part of the delimitation process, the issue of liberation of four exclave villages, Yukari, Askipara, Sofalu, Bakudali and Khaki of Azerbaijan occupied by Armenia will also be resolved. Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan also said that those villages belong to Azerbaijan. But the villages are still not freed from occupation. Recall that these eight villages were occupied by Armenia in the early 1990s. Mustafayev's office also noted that as part of the activities of the Commission's work is underway to create the regulatory framework necessary for carrying out delimitation work. Earlier, Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev demanded the deoccupation of those villages. The villages that are not enclaves, the four villages, should be returned to Azerbaijan without any preconditions. Aliyev stated, for the villages that are enclaves, a separate expert group should be established and this issue should be discussed. We believe that all enclaves should be returned. The roads leading to these enclaves should have the necessary conditions and the people living there should be accommodated in these enclaves. So, this is our position. We cannot understand Armenia's position. The OSCE Media Freedom Representative called for the release of journalists arrested in Azerbaijan. The OSCE representative on freedom of the media, Teresa Ribeiro, has expressed grave concern after the detention of 14 staff members from the independent online media outlet Toplum TV. Reports indicate that on the 6th of March, police conducted a search of Toplum TV's editorial office on unspecified grounds, seizing equipment, sealing the media platform's premises and detaining 14 employees. While most were released from police custody in Baku by midnight, at least three remain detained and face allegations of smuggling. Furthermore, on the same day, unauthorized renaming of Toplum TV's YouTube account and the disappearance of video records were reported. The repeated imposition of severe measures against media personnel in Azerbaijan is deeply troubling, stated Ribeiro. Journalists must be able to carry out their work without fear of reprisal. She highlighted these events in the context of recent arrests of journalists from the Abzaz media platform as well as Canal 13 and Canal 11, online media channels which she previously raised with the Azerbaijani authorities. I call on authorities to release all detained media workers. All OSCE participation states committed themselves, including through the 2018 Ministerial Council decision on the safety of journalists, to fostering a safe working environment and ensuring the protection of journalists.